We've just seen the seventh Devo film. Like the first six, that's a dramatic representation of their music. Unlike the first six, however, this one's involved in a controversy. This is Mark and Jerry from the band, and Jerry's going to explain uh, the situation this time. Mark and I were just trying to develop a, a kind of a, a scenario. Like most of our films, it's, it's, it's usually a, a Fellini-esque or surreal reinterpretation of, of familiar things in the culture that, that people can understand, because we were trying to say something to people and trying to communicate on some other level than a slick product, which we are not. And in this case, uh, with the uh, way the country seems to be going and the uh, inexhaustible um, interest in cowboy as the myth of modern man and the cowboy with a gun and fun at the ranch and mom and apple pie, we set up a scenario with cowboys and <laughs> jeans and mom and apple pie and um, us dressed as kind of boat people with our flower pots on. Because you've been kind of depressed about the direction things are going in, haven't you? I mean, that's, if you listen to your music, you would think you have a few complaints about the... <laughs> the... I, I suppose we do. I mean, we kind of view the situation like aliens. I don't mean alienated, just aliens, like somebody hovering in a little craft watching human behavior and not believing that it could really be true. Mm. Whip It, for instance, is the opposite of sexist. Mm. It doesn't even fit into any definition which I can't even, I don't understand what that definition even means. I think that people that make those kind of accusations uh, should have to substantiate them or be quiet. Mark, when you, when you're putting together a film, uh, let's say the toaster incident and the idea uh, of the woman and you know, the whip and so forth, do you think there's any boundaries that people should put on artists? I mean, do you think that uh, the, those boundaries are too tight nowadays or? I mean, because one of the, the whole objectives of your band is to kind of say, look, uh, just to jar and stimulate and have people think about things. And, and if you do it in a very conventional manner, you're not going to achieve that. If the spud fits, wear it. <laughs> I mean, think? does this guy look like a sexist? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, do you think there's, there's you know, do you think there's, there's limits on, on uh, what a person should be able to say in art? Well. The problem is, who's establishing the limits? I mean, the limits seem to always go in one direction. There's one bias. If, I mean, no one objects to the love boat. No one objects to uh, TNA commercials and TNA sitcoms. And no one objects to um, promo films of Rod Stewart singing between a girl's legs with hot pants on or meatloaf grinding up against a girl in a slit gown. Because that's all part of the American experience, right? That's their kind of sex, so they say, yay. You know, that fits the bill. But we come on with a sense of humor and a parody of maybe their values, and I suppose we're asking to be attacked because that doesn't please them. It doesn't reinforce what they already think. I mean, the question isn't sex or not sex. It's what kind of sex. I mean, sex isn't bad, but there's bad sex. Well, are you, are you, is, is it almost like a, a, si a silent triumph, the fact that the thing does achieve what you, uh, if you were trying to stir people up with this thing, and the fact that it, it did stir them up, is that a, I mean, do you, in, in some kind of perverse way, is that almost like a pleasure <laughs> for you? I suppose, yes, perverse. It, it certainly wasn't meant to be received in the way it has been received, it, but it, I suppose it's kind of ironically just, mm. but, and, and I'm, I'm glad that actually we, we even have this forum for, for um, expressing our own viewpoint. It's very, very seldom that an artist has a voice concerning the accusations made against him.